Me and my wife have been living in this house for about three years now. And uh, we've been trying to sell it for a couple of years. We got it from my parents. And it's really good, but we want to move forward, move on. And it's just really far out of the way. It's about an hour drive to the city each way. And that's without traffic. So, yeah. And uh, the, the doctor, Dr. Larkson, told us to contact you guys. And here we are. But I'm really in the dark here. I don't know what's going on, what you guys want. So I guess we'll have to figure it out when we get there. Hey, uh, yeah, this is Al. Uh, I'm, I'm at the building. Where are you guys? Uh, we're upstairs, so where are you exactly? Uh, right in the, the front of the building. I just parked my car. Okay. In front of my car. Okay, uh, I see you. We'll come get you now. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. This house has been a problem for us. Um, that's why we've, it's taken us two years to try to sell it. There has been some weird sightings, weird things happening, weird sounds in the middle of the night. Wife woke up one time screaming, said she saw something there, but I couldn't find anyone. So I don't know if she was just dreaming or she actually saw something. And, you know, I worry about her sometimes. It's a big house, just the two of us. And she's alone in that house for a while sometimes. That's why I want to move somewhere closer to the city, something smaller, you know, so she doesn't feel so overwhelmed. And hopefully it doesn't feel like it's haunted or anything. Hi, my name is Lynn. Welcome to our home. My husband, Al, and I have been living here for about three years. Um, at first it was okay, but after a while, I heard noises coming from the pond and it, it sounded like someone is playing or jumping in there and, and just splashing, but then when I would check, there would be nothing there. Now he doesn't agree. Al doesn't think that that's happening. He thinks I'm crazy. Oh, yeah, remember, uh, no one goes in the basement, all right? And be very, very gentle around my wife, okay? Oh, and by the way, and I know she cooked something, so even though we ate, you guys gonna eat something, right? Okay, cool. At Let's least go. we have a plan. It's better than nothing. It's better than sitting around and waiting for something to happen well, to yeah, us. a week, babe. Another week of all this stuff, and we're gonna have to go through it all over yeah. again. We, I just drove all the way down there just to grab them to bring you guys up here and then now you tell me he's not even coming and we're gonna have to do all this again next week. Okay, but it's better than nothing. It's a plan. All right, you know what? Let's go. Let's, let's yeah. go show the place. Bro. Thank you. See a lot of open space, green space. It's about 150 acres. And uh, if you look over there, the gate just stretches all the way down to the end. It's really beautiful and a little bit of history. Uh, so this land was uh, originally owned by the, um, the Armstrong family in the early 1900s. Uh, it was uh, uh, bought by a bank who apparently wants to be uh, anonymous. But uh, I heard the story of how this land originally belonged to the West Native tribe. So the Confederates, um, got the natives to sign this contract and fluffed it up with all this crap and the natives didn't know what they were signing so they signed and the uh, confederates were able to take this whole land out of them so now this whole thing was up for grabs and my family got it it's really beautiful
and we've been living here for three years now. So yeah, let me let me show you around a little bit more. I'm really confused because we've been walking around all day, but you guys have done nothing for us. And I'm starting to feel really bad for Al because I know he's trying. I've, I've heard of these sounds too. I've seen faces. I just didn't want to kind of believe it, you know? I didn't want to think that there's actually things like ghosts or extraterrestrial bull****. But maybe, maybe she's right. Maybe there are some weird phenomenons that are happening and it's kind of fucked up, it's kind of messed up. So, this is where kind of, the first time I heard the voices actually. Uh, in that barn, we keep all the equipment for the farm. And one time I was working there, I was getting some stuff ready to help the farmers plow the fields and all of a sudden I feel and I hear some equipment shifting. And at first I thought maybe it was just, it was stacked wrong and it just kind of shifted off each other. But when I went to inspect it, there was nothing wrong with how it was placed. It just moved. I, I, I'd like for this to be solved because my relationship and everything I care about is just falling into pieces because of this situation. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry guys, it's just, Sorry I've been a jerk, but uh, it's just that, you know, it's, it's really tough times. I mean, me, me and my wife have been fighting a lot, and I'm trying to be supportive, but it's just really frustrating because I don't believe in these kind of stuff. Maybe I should. I'm, I mean, I'm really trying, and I want to help her out. I want to be there for her, be her, be her rock, but, you know, it's tough. It really is, and uh, it's, been, it's been a trial. And sorry if I've been a jerk to you guys. I really don't mean to be. It's just been really stressful. Guys, come over! Oh, gosh, she's saying that she sees a face in the water. Babe, no, it's, it's no, nothing. It's, it's probably just the face of the sculpture. No, it's exactly everything I said. It's in the water. Babe, okay, it's, it's, I, it's not. It's not. It's the face of the sculpture. We have a no, sculpture right above the this. water, and it's a woman's sculpture. Oh my God. Of course. No. Okay, you know what? Just go this inside. Is, no. Just go inside. I'll stay here with my grandma. Okay, go inside. Go. She saw a face, a ghost face, in the water. And I don't know what to believe because there's a statue there. It's a statue of a woman, so it could have been just the face of the statue. Could have been real. It's freaked out. My wife, as you can clearly see. But yeah, it gave us all a little bit of a scare, you know? And uh, this is the kind of stuff that I was talking about earlier. Whether it's real or not, it's, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, let's go inside. Let's go inside.